Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in Wellington. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul for ya. Got some new finds, some boho inspired stuff. My hair's a little crazy. I didn't do anything with it this morning. Just got up and showered. It was a work day. It's Monday. Ouch. It's Monday. My shoulder's still a little. I just iced it though. That helps. Okay. Let's get into what I bought. Hi, baby. Um, first thing I picked up, I love these little containers. Um, I have purchased, uh, I swear. I store a lot of like my nut flowers in here, my sweeteners, but this one I purchased some dehydrated heavy cream to take on my backpacking trip. I mean, the shelf life is a really long time. The packaging stinks. So, ow, sir. Um, I'm going to store it in here and then I keep it in my refrigerator or once I'm done backpacking, I may just store it in my freezer to keep it for the next time I go out and need to have some dehydrated cream for my coffee. Um, this one holds two quarts and I know they have the four quart size too. And I actually used the four quart size for leftover paint that I had. I had purchased a five gallon bucket of paint to paint this whole floor. And what I had left, I just dumped in one of these and it's in my garage. So I grabbed one of those for that in the pet section. It's open because we used it. I bought this for Luna and it is a toy. So these are really lightweight. I mean, honestly, uh, if you had a toddler, I think they would have fun with this. You can hide little things under here. But if you see the air hole, we put treats in it and then she had to dig out the treats and I put them in like every other one. So she got in there, got her treats. This is so fun. It's lightweight. So I'm not sure, you know, it depends on your dog if they're going to chew it up or not. Luna did really good with it. Um, I have something very similar for Wellington, but it's wooden and it has little balls that sit on a, over a little hole like this. And I put cat treats in it and he loves it. So yeah, I grabbed that. I need to get one more to send home with Sarah because I like having that one here. I picked up two of these knee supports just to see if they would work since I've been doing a lot more outdoor activities, a lot more walking, bicycling. You know, my knees get sore, I'm 50. I haven't built up those muscles. So I bought two and they work pretty well. I mean, I wouldn't say I would use this if I injured myself, but just for that little bit of extra support, I'm definitely wearing these backpacking and they're lightweight so I can just, and if they get dirty or ruined, I don't care. And yeah, for a buck. And again, if I had a, like an injury, I probably would go to the doctor or get a little more substantial, but this is more of a prevent injury. It just gives my knees a little more stability when I'm walking. So I grabbed two of those. I've already opened them up and tried them and they work good. Um, I found these slide on shoes. So light, I weighed them for, I have cat fur, for my backpacking trip to see how much they weighed, four and a half ounces. But they're very padded, like walk, I mean, they. I'm not gonna say they're a croc, but they feel very similar to a croc. I wear a size eight and a half to a nine, and these are a women's large, nine, 10, and they fit me perfectly. Um, I was actually hoping I could find them in men's for a little more width so I could wear them with socks backpacking, but um, I haven't seen men's. I've only seen the ladies. Hi. And so I wore these around for a couple days and these are going to be fantastic for camping to the pool. If you're using a community shower, um, anything like that, they have a the little ventilation in here, but these are pretty pretty cool. I am shocked. So I got them in pink and black and I'm looking for the teal and the large too. Um, I will tell you my stores just got them out and I was lucky to find two pair. These are the only two that I found in my size, which is the women's large. This is it. And all the stores I've been to and you know, I go to a lot, but I wanted to share those with you. And I also wanted to wear them so I could give you an honest opinion. Um, a hundred times better than those little nasty flip flops. I know people love them, but I will tell you what they do. They hurt my feet. 
um, wear the little thong piece in that hard and on either side, those little knots, oh, they hurt. I won't wear them. So these are perfect and they're great yard work. I had them, I was just wearing them to go check the mail. I love a cheap slip on that I can just tear up and I don't care. So those are great if you see them. This is in no particular order, guys. Um, I grabbed three more of these True Lemons. I just really enjoy them and when I hadn't seen them for a while. So I picked up three boxes and each box has 12 packets. I will tell you what I've been making is I brew hibiscus tea, which is fuchsia pink, and it's an herbal tea. It's just made with hibiscus flowers, and I add a packet of lemon and some sweetener, and it's almost like the pink drink from Starbucks, but it's no carbohydrate in those sugars. So I grabbed three because that's what I found at one of my stores, um, and I'll grab a couple more when I see them. I just like them plain in water. There's no sweetener to them. So it's, a, it's that, just like you if you squeeze the lemon. Plus, I think I'm going to make a lemon cheesecake, and I will use that to flavor the cream cheese. I found this bag. I love it. It's just the pink bag with the bumblebees and the black. And it just says reusable. I threw away a ton of these bags, and they're great, but you know, they, they don't last forever, but these are pretty decent quality. The bottom is also black. Um, I don't also try not to buy a ton of them, but I just needed this. because It's not black or blue. I'm assuming that's black. Yeah, it's black. So I grabbed this bag at my store, which I love it, and I will put stuff in it to take upstairs. Maybe. We'll see. I'll leave that over there for now. I'm trying to pop it open. And they have a pretty wide bottom, too. This is a nice size bag. I love using these as gift bags instead of paper bags because they're reusable. Speaking of, I grabbed a couple of these tag-along, take-along, take-alongs. Uh, these are the special edition color. They have this one, which I like the smaller, and then they have the thicker ones with like a teal top. Now I got rid of all of my plastic to go containers. Um, and I switched over to glass for my storage. Now I, I also have a bunch of like real Tupperware, but I'm going to be going out a lot this summer. I got my kayak today in the mail. I was, I got the, um, the roof rack for my kayak so I can go to the lake go to the rivers and I'll be packing like lunches and I prefer to pack in something like this. I don't need a ton, just a couple, but I can make a salad or whatever and have lunch with me. So I grabbed a pack of these. Um, uh, you, you need to. Sir, sir, what are you doing? Excuse me, sir. What you doing? You're in a bag. He doesn't care. These cats are ridiculous. Anyway, so I thought I would just grab a couple of these to have. I reuse them. These are um, 2.9 cups, so about three cups. So perfect to throw in a cooler and just have lunch on the go and I don't have to worry if something is yucky, if it gets lost, if it gets left behind, whatever. They were in essence 50 cents a piece. So I grabbed those. Ooh, ooh, look what I found. Tampico, what? Six packs, this is mango punch and citrus punch. And you get Five calories. I mean, it is the same as any of the other on-the-go drink mixes, but I just thought I've never seen these brands before, and we need to try them. And I love the tropical. So, fun fact. Last year, when I went to Florida, I bought online these long, skinny zip bags that make popsicles. And they have, like, a zip top on them, and I might have made these with some vodka and made some like adult sugar-free popsicles for myself. It was fantastic. These would be delicious, like a tropical with a little bit of vodka and it just made it not freeze like ice cube hard. 
delicious. I highly recommend. And I got like a hundred pack of those zip baggies for um, like $9 or something. And I have a bunch left for this summer. So I'll be making some of these with citrus punch and mango for sure. But I need to go buy some alcohol to mix with it. I like, you know, yeah. Okay, Lori. I grabbed this. Vix 44 Mucus Relief 12 Hour. It's like um, Mucinex. You get 10 extended release tablets. Honestly, I'm not generally one to pre buy medication, but this is good until March of 2022. So I feel like if I were to get sick, even just a cold or whatever, like a chest congestion, I would have these. And if not, somebody else will need them or. I spent a dollar so I grabbed a box just to kind of have you know I felt like I know mucinex is 12 or 13 dollars so for one and like I said they're good for another year plus I mean you know why not so I grabbed some of these they also had the throat lozenges but they were not sugar-free so I didn't buy them um, but I picked those oh you're still in the bag okay he's still in his bag Please don't worry. This is not a big haul by any means. I also picked up for my backpacking trip some of these like fruit snacks. You get six pouches. Um, yes, I'm diabetic. Yes, these have a fair amount of sugar. One, 15 carbohydrates, eight sugar. So not terrible. But when I'm out there like in the woods hiking around, sometimes you just need a sugar boost to really get your blood flowing and my sugar doesn't technically drop as a diabetic but it can get low and with a lot of exercise sometimes I just need a little something something so I'm going to keep these with me in case oh thank you sir in case um I need some sugar I got these and I have some jelly beans and between the two I should be fine um and we're only going for two and a half days and yes somebody asked am I vlogging yes I'm vlogging so I just picked these up just to have, I've already even taken them out and packed them away with my food bag. I'm not sure if you'd be interested to see what I pack. I could do a video on what's in my backpack. If you want, I can do that. I also picked up some more of this Taster's Choice coffee. I picked up at Walmart the Taster's Choice hazelnut, but it's a little potent. So I think what I'll do is mix one regular with one hazelnut and that'll be perfect for my morning coffee. I will drink 16 ounce cup before we leave camp. Now he's attacking the window. We're very distracted today. So I just grabbed one more of these. I like them, it's not bad at all. And for cooking, this is fantastic. If you're making brownies, chocolate cake, chocolate frosting, throw a packet of this in. Coffee brings out that taste of chocolate like crazy. It's delicious. And I love having like just the instant packet to put in with my like brownie mix or something. So it's a good, you know, good to have around. Um, fun, fun little something. I have no idea what I need these for, but they are adorable. Maybe I can, I don't know, make jello shots or something, but they're little red solo cups, but in red and blue with little, if you can see those little stars. Like how adorable is that? And just the detail. You know, adorable. I don't know what we're going to make with them. Probably nothing. Oh, you can. I know there's a craft. You can cut a hole up here and use these with lights. And they become like, you know, seasonal lights for like your patio or something. So there's crafting business that can happen. I do use these in my craft room to mix paint or things like that. So I could pro I'll probably use it for that. We're a little old for like jello shots and whatnot. But I just thought they were adorable. And I will take some to my little cousin because she loves tiny little things. So I'll take some to her. But I thought for crafting purposes, we'll figure something out. So I grabbed those. We just have a few more things, guys. I picked up a correction pen. Never seen this before by Jot. It's like correction with the brush, but this is a little more specific. Um, I bought correction tape for my planner. I don't love it. And I got Bic brand, but it's not really fantastic. So I'm going to try this. Um, especially for like my work calendar and stuff. Sometimes I have to wipe things out. I can hear it. 
So yeah, we'll see how it works. And I also wonder if this could be used on black paper as like a white pen. Because I'm obsessed with white and black. So we'll try it out. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work and whatever. And then I picked up these. I love these little containers um, for cookouts. I just love them. This one's fun. It's just kind of 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day. Um, but these are great. They're nice and sturdy. And for a cookout, I like this better than I like a paper plate because things tend to stay. They also sell the, the waxed paper with the red and white check that you could put in here. Um, if you were doing like a cookout outside, give this to the kids. They can put all their ketchup, mustard, whatever. Heck, if you're doing a bonfire or a fire pit and the kids want s'mores, you can set them up with their own little tray of, you know, a couple graham crackers, some marshmallows, some chocolate, and they can just keep their mess contained. And this pack comes with six. I love them and I cook out fairly regularly. So these are, I enjoy using these, especially if I'm gonna be sitting outside or whatever, um, just because it, paper plates, things tend to slide and fall out. And like I said, especially for little people. So I um, I typically get one a year, maybe two, it just depends. Last year I didn't do a lot because we didn't do a lot. So there's that. Okay, so for also outside, I found one of the, little colored lanterns in this color. They had it like a gray, a, a this, and a seafoam green. I'm assuming to go with their beach theme. And they light up. This one matches my front porch. So what I'm gonna do is get one of the little hooks and stick it in the middle of a potted plant and have this sticking out of the top. I don't even need to turn it on. I think it'll just be adorable on my front porch. So I will be buying like this big Boston fern and then I'll get the little mini shepherd's hook, put this in there and just hang the little lantern out of the top of the plant. And I just think it'll be adorable. But if you're again doing something outside, you can buy a bunch of these and hang them off of a string and make like a lantern light up for your patio. Just sit it on your table. I mean, they're fantastic. And they're super cute and they're plastic, but they're pretty heavy duty. Yeah, I think it's great. And if you don't like the color, pop out the tea light and spray paint it. Why not? But this has a lot of detail. If you can see the color variants, it's it's to look weathered is what it's gonna look, it's to look like. So you see the little gray on the top? It's like a weathered look and it's a decent size. I love it. I think it'll be very whimsical on my front porch when I get to decorating. I have a table out there that I bought at five below that I'm going to sit my fern on. It's just way too soon. And we're still getting freezing temperatures here. I think it was 36 this morning when I woke up. So it's not time for outdoor plants, although I have all my indoor plants going. So there's that. And oh, I'm excited. Okay. I found some stickers that are cat kisses. <laughs> I feel like I might have bought these before, but I wanted to make sure I had them because, well, they're they're just adorable. I don't know what they're... They don't have a name on them, but they're cat cactus plants. And I love them. And I just think they were, they're just adorable. I mean, just because they make me happy. No other reason. So we have that. Now, I found in the... Um, electronics section they have a whole new line out it looks like a pop socket guys and we're gonna pop this open now i have on my phone and it is greenbrier so other stores should you know your store should be getting these um i have a pop socket on my phone and i love it but i'm thinking for my kindle this would be kind of cool um especially if i'm gonna be like out and about traveling um, you know, it's a dollar. This is definitely not a real pop socket. I feel like that will not hold up forever. I mean, it definitely is dollar quality, but it's got a young one. It's adorable. And this one has little flamingos on it. So I grabbed one of those and it does have some sticky on the back. And then... A little panda bear phone holder. 
Again, this would hold my Kindle. I mean, I don't know why I would put my Kindle on here, but if I wanted to, I could. I'm trying to get it open so you can see. Um, this would be perfect on my desk to hold my phone. Sometimes I just have a hard time getting these packages open. Here, it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. I feel like I might have had these before, too. But they're just super cute and fun. Um, it does come with directions. And they had a llama. And they had something else. But So it sits like this. And then you sit your phone or your tablet on it. So it stands up, but then you put your phone here and it, this will, it leans on it. Is that not adorable? You know what else I could put on here? <laughs> post-it notes. Just set up my post-it notes that I use all the time. This is adorable. Um, and if you want it like a smaller and a different lean, you can switch these this end around depending on how far up you want it to stand and how much space you want. But I think this will be adorable with like little mini post-it notes stuck to his belly. <laughs> so I grabbed those just for fun. I mean, I would say if you want a pop socket, buy the pop socket. This is $10. This is not gonna hold up very long. It also doesn't lay flat like a pop socket, but whatever, I wanna check it out. It's adorable. And I think, you know, it just, it's not gonna last. Just be aware. Now, the last things I got are home decor. I saw a bunch of people toting and hauling, excuse me, buddy, the, um, oh, and this one even, it has little pads. I think you put the little pads on here so your phone doesn't slide off. Sorry, I digress. Um, I've seen a lot of folks hauling the nautical themed items. I haven't seen any of that at my store, but also it doesn't really go with my home aesthetic, but, I have found a bunch of other stuff that does. Some very bohemian looking things. This is a gray speckled. And I just love the simplicity of it. This is definitely going behind me for summertime. They had several different shapes and colors, but this is the one that spoke to me. And I love it. It almost looks like a flower on the top or a mandala. Oh, I love it. So I grabbed that, it is ceramic. Then they had some little tart burners. I won't use it for that. I'm gonna put this in my kitchen on a shelf, but look, it's a flower. And they had this in all different colors, like a pink and a blue, I think. But I wanted the yellow because I do my kitchen in lemons. And I thought this will look adorable. I don't need to burn it or light it or do anything. I'm just gonna sit it on a shelf with some other little things around it. And it's gonna be the perfect little accent for my kitchen. So yeah, but look at that. Is that not the sweetest little thing? And these work, you just put a tea light in there and you light it and you can put wax up here or oil and water. I just don't, I have electric plug-in ones. And with the cats, I'm kind of, I mean, I do burn candles, but I'm very careful with where I burn them because up okay so I grabbed that and then the last three things I got I cannot tell you how excited I am um I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them yet but I will figure out something very modern could go boho in my world because I think I'm gonna put some succulents inside here or like little tiny ivy around it but it's honestly just a cement base with a gold or brown copper, not copper. Is that, it's just gold, I think. Yeah, just gold frame around it. You can put candles in there. You can do whatever you want. But I think I'm going to do some greenery and maybe some vines and just kind of give it like a boho, boho vibe. You can also weave like colored yarn around here and fill that in and then put like a flower or something. I mean, it's, it's a blank canvas, but this feels like cement. So I have it in this rectangle. And then wait to see the size of this one, the circle. This is pretty darn big. I mean, it's, it fits in the palm of my hand. And then it just has a little circular frame 
on it. So I grabbed that one. And then they had it in triangular. And I really had to buy one of each because I like things in three. And um, I didn't know what shape I needed. But all of them are going to probably get a little piece of um, fake succulent or some type of greenery in here. You can either tie like strings to hang off the back of this, let's say. I mean, you could put a candle in there, but I think that's boring. We're gonna go, we're gonna do something different. So I grabbed these. I'm super excited for these little bitty boho vibes, feelings that I, or boho vibe in these items. And I'm really excited for them. So I hope that was exciting for you as it was for me. I'm cleaning up my mess of all the stuff I opened. Um, today is Tuesday. I gotta get some crafting done. I've just, this happens to me every year after the holiday rush of crafting from following's giving mess, really. I mean, I start in June, July, August, August for fall. So I always get in kind of a little slump around the first half of the year. But I will have some DIYs coming up. Um, maybe I'll record a video this weekend of before I go backpacking, um, what's in my pack and show you all the things I'm taking. And then I will vlog while I'm out in the woods. All right, guys, well, I hope you like this and I will talk with you later. Bye.